briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1995, the United States District Court for the District of Massachusetts heard the case of Hatch v. First American Title Insurance, focusing on the principle that insurance policy clauses should be interpreted in favor of the insured party, and the insurer has an obligation to fulfill its duties under the contract. The Hatches, who had purchased a home in Rowley, Massachusetts in 1986, discovered a title defect in 1987 that rendered their property unmarketable. They terminated the land sale contract and purchased a title insurance policy from First American Title Insurance Company. In 1994, First American filed a petition and won a court case to establish the property title. However, the Hatches sued First American for breach of contract, claiming for loss of value and interest paid because of the defect. First American argued that they had no liability under the insurance policy because they removed the defect through court action. The Hatches countered that the company took too long to remove the defect, making them liable. The court had to determine whether First American was liable under the policy, which contained a provision on which the insurer relied to deny liability. The court ultimately found First American liable for damages, as they failed to remove the defect in a reasonable time after the Hatches notification. Dismissing the insurer's argument of winning the case, the court deemed the policy ambiguous and thus interpreted it in favor of the Hatches, holding First American liable for the damages. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.